Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I thought it would be fun to share with you seven Asana tricks that I use all the time. If you are new here, my name is Louise. Here on this channel, I help you create a simple and efficient online business, and Asana is one of those key tools that will help you make it happen. If you are just getting started with Asana, I have a free workshop that is perfect for you. Click the link in the description below to watch that. So let's dive in. Here are the tricks. Okay, so my first trick is adding new sections. So yes, when you are in list view, you can just come down here and you can click add section to create a new section. However, you can also just hit tab N on your keyboard and that will automatically pop up as well. So yes, that is cool, but what most people don't know is that you can also do this for your subtasks. So on this task here, I'm going to click details and then I'm going to write in a few of my subtasks. So I can do the exact same thing here to create a section for my subtasks. So I'm just going to bring my mouse right here to the end of my last task. Then I'm going to hit tab N and that will create a new section. So this is awesome. And then from here, you can just pick it up and you can move it around and you can go ahead and create multiple sections like this. So keyboard shortcuts like this will actually save you a lot of time to see all of the shortcuts that are available to you. All you have to do is hit command forward slash and this will pop up and show you all of the shortcuts that are available. And no, I do not just mean this one. <laughs> The next trick is the ability to multi-select and assign all of those tasks to you with just one click. So for this, all you have to do is click on the top task that you want to include. Then you're going to hold down the shift key and click on the bottom task. Perfect. So as you can see, this has selected all of the tasks. Now all you have to do is go over to the assignee tab, click on it, anyone that you want to assign this to, you're going to click on that and all of them are going to be done at the exact same time. So I absolutely love this. Same thing goes for you assigning due dates. So I can just go over here and assign those for today. Perfect. And I will also do this a lot when it comes to tags. So let's just go to customize for a second, turn on tags so that those are visible. Okay, now I'm going to multi-select again, go over to tags and I'm going to add a tag. So hopefully this one saves you a ton of time. So for this next trick, I'm actually going to remove the due date and show you a really easy trick for organizing your schedule when you haven't actually assigned a due date yet. So for this one, you're going to go over to my tasks and then the calendar view. Then from here, top right, you're going to change it from month view to week view. Then you will see an option that says unscheduled. Click on that and this will show you all of your tasks that do not yet have a due date. I love this because then all you have to do is pick up that task and drag it to the date that you would like to do it. The next trick is the ability to add the same task to multiple projects, which really comes in handy when you are trying to organize related projects. So for this, all you're going to do is click on the individual task and you'll see that it says the project that it is currently under. If you hover over here, you'll see a plus sign appear. All you need to do is click on that, and then you can select the other project that you would like to add it to, and you can easily choose the section as well. So I love this one. This really comes in handy quite a lot, actually. Now you don't just have to do it on the individual level. You can actually use the trick I've already showed you to multi-select. So for example, I'm going to multi-select these ones here. This bar will appear. Look for the clipboard icon, click on that, then click add to project, select the project and the section you want them to go to. And that will automatically add all of those tasks to the other project as well. Next, I wanna show you how quick and easy it is for you to link to another task or project. So I'm gonna go right here into this individual task. If you go into your description 
and you type in the at symbol, you can mention any, as it says, teammate, task, project, or message. So in this example, I'm going to link to the film ad task that we have here. So I can just start typing that in and you'll see that it appears. So I'm gonna click on that. Perfect, now that is a link, and if I click on it, I will go straight to that specific task. So I use this a lot. Let me show you one more time with linking to a project. So let's link to my demo project that I have. I'm just going to type in demo. I will see that project. I can click on that, and it is now easily accessible. So now let's say that you want to move multiple tasks to a different section that is also quick and easy using the multi-select trick. So you're going to click this top one here, hold down your shift key, click the bottom one. You will see this arrow icon appear, click on that, and you can quickly and easily move it to another section. That really saves you a lot of time, especially when you have a long, long list of tasks and you don't have to drag them all the way down. Okay, and finally, the last trick that I wanted to talk about is custom fields. I feel like not enough people are using these, but this allows you to really take your organization to the next level and I think can really help, especially for those of you that love color coding. So in your project, you're going to click on this plus sign here, but it is important to note that this is a premium feature. I would say it's worth it though, because it allows you to organize and categorize your tasks and projects in so many more ways. So let me switch to a premium space. Okay, perfect. So here's one of my projects. In order to add a custom field, all I need to do is go up here to the plus sign. And now I can determine what I want to call this field. So for example, let's say I want to do priority. I can just type that in and I can determine what field type I want to use. So you have single select, multi-select, text and number options right now. I'm sure they're gonna add even more in the future. Okay, now down here, you're going to determine what those levels are. So let's say maybe we have low and we have medium and we have important. Okay, great. Now you can actually choose the color right next to it. So if you click on the colored circle, can change what your colors are going to be for each of those levels. Okay, great. So now you're going to hit create field and now you will see priority in your project. So you can click on each task and you can sort those into what their priority is. So you could use this for all sorts of things. For example, you could use it for the stage that the project is in. You can use it to categorize your content. So for example, let's type in category. And I'm gonna type in things that I talk about a lot. <laughs> I'm going to change the colors. Okay, perfect, create the field. And now I could organize all my content as well. Okay, so in this example, let's pretend we're working on a marketing calendar. I can go ahead and categorize them. So hopefully this is opening your eyes into the world of possibilities for custom fields and you're getting excited for what you can add to your projects. So those are just seven of my favorite tricks. I have so many more to share with you on both Asana and all things productivity. So if you haven't yet, make sure that you hit subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, let me know by giving it a thumbs up and I'll see you real soon with another video.